My husband cheated on me and didn't wrap his willy, so when his affair partner showed up with her baby and said she had nowhere else to go, I pointed her to the same as my husband, the streets. I, 40F, have been together with my husband, 41M, for 10 years, and I consider those years to be very loving and happy. However, apparently not for him since he had another woman on the side. I make furniture and earn around 1 million euros a year, while my husband is a teacher. It goes without saying that I provide for us. I don't ask what he does with his salary. We live way below our means because we are both minimalists, but we have a big house, nice cars, and lots of art. However, everything is mine. We are not legally married, so it would be appropriate to say that he is my common-law husband. Apparently, he met his side piece, 25F, under false pretenses and told her that we were legally married, so he owned half my company and everything else I own. When she got pregnant, he started spending his salary on her. I wasn't alarmed at the time because, like I said before, I didn't know what he did with his money. Now he is in Dubai on vacation, and her lease on her apartment expired, so she just showed up at my door with her baby. She told me she was his girlfriend, and that he was getting a divorce, so she might as well live in his house, and I could live in a hotel because I could afford it. She didn't have any money or a home. She literally refused to step out, so I called the police and locked myself in the greenhouse. When the police came, she was literally unpacking the child's clothes in the living area. They escorted her out. I was very shaken. Later, I found out all the details I included above. My husband's mother thought I was a jerk for kicking a little baby out on the street. She said he was her only grandson and accused me of using and abusing my money and power to control everything around me. But honestly, teachers make 60k a year, so if, as I found out later, he gave her his salary, I can't understand why she would be so homeless and destitute. She had big designer bags, a designer stroller, and Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry when she showed up at my home. But now I'm the jerk for not housing her? Update 1. Many are asking for an update, but there's really not much to update. Here's what has happened this past week and what is going to happen. I will never see him again, it is over. He is back from his trip, though he probably wasn't expecting to start his summer vacation this way. My lawyer has already contacted him about what he's owed. It will be transported to his mother's apartment. Whatever more he thinks he is owed, he can sue me, and I will be ready. I hope he can afford my lawyers when he loses whatever lawsuit he plans to file. Apparently, the apartment that his girlfriend lost was his. He was sending her money for the rent, but she spent it on Prada instead. He swears that the baby isn't his and that he is going to demand a paternity test, like it would make any difference? Maybe for the baby, yes. I hope to God that the child isn't his, so there might still be a small chance for that baby to have a better future and more loving parents. I am moving in with my parents. Right now, I am in a hotel, but I have no desire to be in that house again with all the memories. I am selling it, and while I find a new home and sell this one, I will live with my family. The girlfriend has contacted me a few times via social media because she needs to talk. She wants proof that we aren't married because he told her that we are married. I don't do delusion, so I just blocked her. She has tried to contact me via her friends and mine, so now everyone knows the truth without me needing to make an announcement. Not sure what more to update. One last thing, I apologize if I have used the wrong terms. I am not a native English speaker, and Google found me the term common law marriage for my situation. However, I understand it has specific laws in English speaking countries. Our relationship is long term, and we live together. We have separate finances. We have no rights to each other's property or estate and do not inherit from each other without a will. However, anything we purchase during the time we were living together falls under joint estate and is divided equally, no matter who the purchaser is. I have no problems dividing these assets in half. I bought our house and some of my expensive art during the time we have been partners, which would have been joint assets if we didn't have cohabitation agreements in place for these expensive purchases. He has no rights to them. Unlike prenups, these agreements are not as easy to contest because he is not legally married to me. Under different circumstances, I would probably have given him more than what he is going to get now because I am generally generous. If he had ended things or told me he wanted out and didn't love me anymore, I would have understood because relationships end and people fall out of love. He could have respected me enough to give me that at least, but he didn't. So, I will literally be counting spoons and napkins, and he will not get a dime over what he is owed.